ஹாய் வியூவர்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு ஷேக்கர்ஸ் பயோ ஃபேக்டரி ஃபர் நீட் பிளான்ட் கிங்டம் வித் ஜிம்னோஸ்பெம்ஸ் கிளாசிஃபிகேஷன் அண்ட் எக்கனாமிக் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் இஃப் யூ லைக் திஸ் வீடியோ சப்ஸ்கிரைப் மை சேனல் அண்ட் கிளிக் ஆன் பெல் ஐகான் டு கெட் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன்ஸ் லைக் ஃபாலோ அண்ட் ஷேர் மை வீடியோஸ் டு யுவர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் டு கெட் மோர் இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் இன் பயாலஜி related to neat and other national state level competitive exams in this video i am going to explain the classification and economic importance of gymnosperms in classification the gymnosperms are classified into four groups in this the first group is cycadopsida example cycas and jamia The second group is Coniferopsida, example Pinus, Gingo and Taxus. Third group is Neatopsida, example Neatum, Ephedra and Velvichia. The fourth group is Ginkopsida, example Ginkgo Biloba. Some of the common examples for Gymnospans. Cycus. Pinus, Arcaria, Toja, Cedrus and Avias. Cycadopsida members are generally called cycads. These members can grow in different habitats. In this, some of the species may be found as component of forest under undestroyed in both species. rain forest and seasonal dry forest but some of the members are occasionally present as a forest canopy cycads are seed bearing plants where majority of these members are now extinct this group of plants are considered as primitive group contain many plants with palm like habit and fern like foliages most of the cycads are xerophytic in nature example cycas cycas plant is also called sago palm cycas is a plant having palm like evergreen plant called palm fern cycas revaluate has a starch is called sago because of this starch in its stem this plant is called sago palm the plant body it consists of a columnar aerial trunk with a corn of a pinnately compound leaves these are present at the tip of the stem the roots of these members are generally tap root system in this some of the roots these are ageotrophic called coralline roots in this roots coralline mass that is having blue green algae in its cortical cells it is called algal zone in its transfer section example anabina it is a blue green algae it is symbiont with roots of cycas called coralline roots it helps in nitrogen fixation the cycas plant is generally dioecious in nature have male and female cones separately on two different plants but female cones in this the megasporophylls are loosely arranged so that it never form female cone the male cone of cycas it is the largest in plant kingdom because it have 40 to 80 cm size and it is a compact woody conical or oval in structure these are attached to tip of the stem with help of a stalk initially the cones are in terminal but later it become lateral portion microspores are developed in microsporangium which develops into male gametophyte in this unwinged pollen grains are formed 
The pollination it is takes place with the help of three cellular stages in cycles. In these, one prothallial cell, a generative cell, and tube cells are present. The main gametes of cycles. These are large in size, top-like, and spherically twisted with a number of cilia. Cycles shows siphonogamy and gyodogamy of sexual reproduction. In this male gamete, reach the female gamete with the help of pollen tube. Is called siphonogamy. The motile male gametes fuse with non-motile female gamete is called gyodogamy. The female cone are produced on female plant. In this female cone of cycles is very large. and it is formed with the help of many megasporophylls in this megasporophylls are loosely arranged in the form of cone and each megasporophyll it is a leaf like structure contains megasporangiums or ovules the ovule of cycas it is arthrotropous ovule and unitegmic without stalk Called sessile, but sometimes a short stalk may be present. The cycas ovule is the largest in plant kingdom, having six to seven centimeters in diameter. The body of ovule is called nucellus or megasporangium. This megasporangium it is covered with a thick integument in all sides except. at microphile here a small opening is present the ovule it contains haploid endosperms in these archegoniums are present with egg cells special characters of cycas is in cycas we can observe the largest egg largest sperm cell and largest ovule the male and female gametes are fused inside the ovule to form a diploid zygote then this diploid zygote it becomes into embryo the growth of embryo in seed is very slow it takes over years to mature even the development of embryo it takes place after seed shed the sexual life of cycas is diploplontic it shows heterologous or heteromorphic type of alternation of generations because the sporophyte and gametophyte exhibit morphological differences the second group in gymnosperms it is coniferopsida the coniferopsida it includes larger dominant gymnospermic plants These are the most commonly known species among gymnospermic families. Giant sequoia, pines, cedars and redwood are one of the most important examples for conifers. Example pinus. Pinus is a large tree and having pyramidal or excurrent shape. it is similar to christmas tree the plant body is sporophytic in nature it shows root stem and leaves the sporophytic plant body is monoecious in nature mostly boletes is a fungus it present on the surface of root system called ectomycorrhiza this mycorrhiza it helps to absorb water nutrients from soil pines generally reproduce with the help of sexual reproduction in these the pinus is a monoecious plant it contains male and female cones on same plant but on two different branches in this the male cone develops on lower side of the branch and female cone it formed at upper branches 
the male cone is also called staminate or microsporangiate strobili it contains a number of microsporophylls arranged on central axis to becomes into cones each microsporophyll it contains two microsporangium at underside in each microsporangium microspores or pollen grains are produced with the help of meiosis division the special character of pinus pollen grain the pollen grain is the male gametophyte in this micro gametophyte of pinus plant it is having wings so wing shaped pollen grains are present in pinus microspore or pollen grain it consists of initially two prothallial cell and one anthridial cell later this prothallial cell represents vegetative tissue of the male gametophyte and anthridial cells divides to form two generative cells and a large tube cell during fertilization the prothallial cell it combined with one generative cell and one tube cell this growth it takes year and it turn into matured male gametophyte of pinus the female pine cone or megastrobilus produces the ovule or unfertilized seeds and scales on the male on female cone open to receive pollen grains inside the ovule the megasporocytes undergoes meiosis division and form four haploid cells in this one of these survive as a megaspore the megaspores it undergoes mitosis division to form a small female gametophyte in this two or three archegoniums are present each archegonium consists of one egg cell the fertilization take place after one year of pollination during this time the pollen tube it enters at the tip of the archegonium by forcing itself in between the cells of new cells this pollen tube wall is disintegrated with the help of enzyme secretion and the male gametes are released into archegonium it undergoes fertilization when the male gametes are released into archegonium both male and female gametes are fused to form a diploid zygote the zygote later it becomes into ovule in embryo and the entire ovule it becomes into seed a matured seed in pinus it consists of a hard testa and a thin tegmen inside it having endosperm embryo and a cap like perisperm the third group is netopsida netophytes usually consist of tropical plants trees and shrubs netophytes differs from other members of this class as they possess vesicle elements in their xylem it is the most important character of netopsida it includes advanced gymnospans example netum netum is the respect form a link in between gymnospans and angiospans by showing both free new cellular divisions as well as cell divisions the male and female reproductive structure resembles to flower and are grown on separate trees making the netum plant dioecious the netum it bears reproductive structures in the form of strobili or cones netum reproduce sexually at this time it is a dioecious and both male and female strobili are compound in structure it is called inflorescence this inflorescence present at either axillary 
are terminal in position which occur singly or in the form of group. Netophytes having unique fertilization future. In this, the tube growth from XL, it unites with pollen tube in order for fertilization to take place in between two gametophytes. The fusion of male and female gametes takes place because the sperm themselves are not motile in nature. After fertilization, the zygote it will becomes into embryo. Natum shows one year of reproductive cycle in this where pollination, fertilization and development of embryo take place in one year. After fertilization, the seed formation take place, the seeds are germinate that is called epizeal germination. The seeds are germinate after one year of resting phase. It is a main character of natum. The last group is Ginkopsida. Ginkophytes have only one living species because all other members of this class are now extinct. Ginkgo it is referred as a living fossil because its leaves resemble to median hair fen and is also known as median hair tree. Ginkgo tree are characterized by the large size and their fan like leaves. Ginkgo plants are dioecious in nature. Male tree have a small pollen cone which contain mobile sperm cells. Similarly, female tree do not have cones but have ovules containing egg cell. Fertilization of egg occurs when pollen grains reach the ovule and the motile mobile sperms enter into female's eggs. Ginkgo seeds are developed from fertilized ovules. In this, the seed coat of seed it consists soft fleshy outgrowth and hard stony middle layer and a thin membranous inner layer. Coming to economic importance of gymnosperms. Some of the edible seeds from gymnosperms. The seeds of pinus, gregardania are edible and these are eaten after roasting. Timber. Gymnosperms possess soft wood which is used in the preparation of light furniture, flavors, packing cases, matchsticks, especially railway sleepers, example citrus deodora. Its wood is highly valuable. Pine wood is widely used in high value carpentry items such as furnitures, window frames, paneling, floors and roofing. One of the most important economic importance, the resins. So resin is a semi-fluid which solidifies when it contact with air. Generally, the resins are secreted from a special resin canals. Therefore, it seals the injured areas on the surface of stem. Resin, it is commercially extracted from the plant and distilled to obtain turpentines and resins. These resins are commercially used in waterproofing, sealing joints and writing paper preparation. In similar way, turpentine is used as a solvent in paint and polishing and wax industries. These are collected from pinus. Ephedrine It is the most important drug. It is useful to cure respiratory abilities and thus used in elements even for asthma such type of ephedrine it is obtained from ephedra is a gymnosperm
Canada blasm. A mounting agent. This mounting agent generally in biology we can use for the preparation of permanent slides. It is obtained from a plant. It is called ABS blasme. Taxol. It is the most important chemical. It is used as a anti-cancerous chemical in the form of injections. It is obtained from taxes is a gymnospam. Ornamental plants. Many gymnospermic plants are native to foreign countries and these are cultured in Indian gardens as a ornamental plants for beautiful appearance. Example Jamia, Tuza, Podocarpus, Ginkgo biloba, Aracaria and Pinus. These plants are generally cultivated in gardens as a ornamental plants. Citrus wood is the most commonly used wood for pencil production because this wood can provide easy mechanism for the preparation of or for the production of pencils. Gymnospems are widely used for manufacturing of paper, especially Picea plant, Pinus, ABS. These plants are used for the preparation of a writing paper because its wood can be made into wood pulp then it is used for paper preparation in paper manufacturing industries. A few gymnospems called living fossils like cycas and ginkgo. These provide an important scientific knowledge about the past flora of earth in archaeology department. Gymnospems especially conifers are the good source of fuel wood. These are the economic importance of gymnospems and about classification and economic importance of gymnospems. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, subscribe my channel and like share my videos to your students and friends.